So at six, they paid for the insurance but didn't get the health care. Those are the allegations in a soon to be filed lawsuit against the Teachers Health Trust. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears is here to explain why educators are going from the classroom to the courtroom. This class action complaint will be filed tomorrow morning. It follows a story we first broke in May about teachers caught in a health care crisis. Mm -hmm, sound it out. We count on them to teach and care for our children every day, but in many cases, medication is not affordable and access to care is not available. They cannot care for themselves. And it's very difficult and it's very frustrating. Diana Goodsell, Sherry DeBartolo, and Paul Feeker are spearheading this lawsuit against Teachers Health Trust, its administrator Well Health, and its board of directors for negligence, fraud, and deception. You know, when you when you purchase an insurance product, certainly a health insurance product, you expect to have your medical claims paid. According to the lawsuit, the health trust routinely denies valid medical claims and charges sky-high copays. CCSD educators often have to choose between paying out of pocket or not getting care. After school psychologist Diana Goodsell was sideswiped in a car accident, she was forced to delay a needed spinal fusion surgery when her entire year's out-of-pocket expense was demanded up front. It was $6,800. In one lump sum? Yes. And that was the morning of the surgery when I was being admitted. The lawsuit also says teachers are being turned away by doctors, even sued by providers well health refused to pay. The class action could cover an estimated 30,000 people. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News. And as Darcy reported in May, the school district provided a $9 million bailout to the health trust in 2016, but the trust paid 100,000 fewer claims last year than the year before. We have a link to that story and more information about the class action at KTNV.com. We're following some breaking news right now.